big roots. You're going to get these big roots if you have a low density, right? The size of the root is pretty much inversely related to the density. If you pack them in there, they're going to be smaller like this. But this kind of root will do the job too. But there is, uh, there's not a lot of scientific study on this, but there have been some studies in Australia showing that generally these tap-rooted fleshy plants have more power, more, they can exert more pressure than a fine-rooted uh, plant. And we've now got you know, data that shows that some cover crops can push through compacted zones much better than others. So it matters what you're planting if you're interested in compaction effects. And actually, when I talk to farmers about cover crops, and there was just recently a nationwide survey of about seven or 800 farmers that use cover crops. That was a SARE survey, thanks so much. Uh, you know, you really need a shovel when it only goes this deep. Although this is a, a rocky soil, and there's gonna be rock down there. I'm going to try to make the point that we got roots this deep, and if we could dig deeper, we could get roots deeper. We could, you know, we could get around the rocks. Those roots keep on going down through the cracks in the rock. Wait, so can you just say which which variety you know of to be particularly good for compaction? I think all of the all of the brassicas are good for compaction. Oh. Rape does just as well as the uh, as the forage radish. Uh, from what we have data on, it's not easy to get data on the root growth through compacted soils, as you can imagine. So we haven't done like a broad variety trial. Uh, but when you compare that to say rye or grasses, they're much better. Sure. Okay, so this, when you have a plow pan or a clay pan, the, what we'll often see is the rye will just grow in that upper part. It won't give you that compaction alleviation effect. And that's something you can't measure with the traditional measures. So you usually associate compaction with what? You're going to measure compacted super measure. All density, right? You say, well, compacted soil is more dense. And what would be the other thing you'd measure? You ever get one of these measuring tools you push in the ground? Penetrometer. Penetrometer. It's got a dial on it, you know, and tells you how much force it takes to push in the ground. You take, well, you know, after I plow my field and subsoil it, it should be easy to push, right? That's because you're cracking the soil up. But this, what you're doing here is it's not this big root that does the work. That, that does change the, the surface drainage. It change, warms the soil. It, 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 you know, it does change the surface soil conditions, but then it narrows down to this thinner tap root. You can see this going on down. It broke off here. It keeps on going. This is what's doing the job. It's having thousands of these holes that your crop next year will follow these channels. So well, this finds its way through compacted zones, and then you know, we've done that research. Uh, Guihua, who is here, has done a lot of it. Uh, what we see is after planting this kind of tap-rooted cover crop, when it rains, you find the moisture down here faster. Uh, 